Hi, and uh, welcome to my channel. I've been having trouble with my uh, level of recording the audio, so I bought this. I don't know if it's going to work, but it's a, a new microphone, so I'm just going to hold it up and try to talk louder so you can hear me. I want to welcome my new subscribers. Uh, my numbers just fluctuate, uh, but right around 130. Sometimes it goes up a few, down a few, up a few, down a few. So it's been at that rate for a couple of years. I've had my channel, I guess about four years, five years maybe. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so I wanna welcome my new subscribers. I think the new people um, heard about me from Dr. John Campbell. Uh, last Sunday he had a, uh, a video uh, that he was showing about, you know, his wonderful um, ideas and sharing uh, technical information about COVID, and uh, and he showed my little video about my experience trying to get the vaccine. So anyway, um, I I welcome my new subscribers. I'm just going to give you a little bit of of a background about me and then um, update you on my <clears throat> vaccine and also my uh, health uh, challenges. So here goes. Um, I'm 78 years old. Um, I come from a working class family, born in a little town in Southern Iowa, moved to the big city, Minneapolis, where um, when I was about four, and we, um, you know, I went to, grew up there, went to my first two years of college at the University of Minnesota. Um, I have been married four times, I admit. Um, each time I learned a lesson, I made mistakes, but hopefully I never made the same mistake twice. But anyway, and now I'm divorced. I'm single and I'm enjoying uh, my retirement years on my own. Uh, right now I live in a, a studio apartment in downtown Phoenix. And uh, I moved here a year and a half ago from Columbus, Ohio, where I spent 20 years. I lived the 20 years before that in California, basically, where I had my uh, children. I have three sons and um, a daughter. And I'm living now not too far from my youngest son. That's why I moved to Phoenix. And I tell you, I, during this isolation, I'd rather be in this beautiful um, downtown apartment in Phoenix overlooking downtown and the mountains and, you know, the blue sky and the temperatures of perfect right around 75 than I would living back in Columbus, isolated with snow and cold outside, especially this winter. Um, so I'm doing okay. Um, I made a lot of videos about uh, COVID during the past year. I invite you to go to my, uh, my homepage and, and check out my videos. I've kind of changed from other topics to COVID. And then as we got closer to the election, I got on my high horse and soapbox and made a few political videos. And, uh, and now, uh, last uh, uh, November, I was diagnosed with um, aggressive, invasive squamous cell carcinoma of the bladder, my luck. Um, I had two surgeries, TURBTs, transsectional, urethral, something or other, where they go in and scrape all the cancer cells out of the bladder and um, confirmed with biopsy my diagnosis that has to be treated with radical surgery. So I'm gonna have my bladder removed, my uterus, um, lymph nodes, uh, and the vaginal wall. <clears throat> I'll have a it's called an ostomy, which is a hole in my abdomen with a urine bag attached. 
and uh, there'll be an, it's called an ileal conduit. Uh, that's the inside part of what they do to direct my urine from the, the bladder, which is no longer there, to this um, ostomy and into the bag. So I'll have to live with that for the rest of my life. Um, 2% mortality rate during surgery. I'm pretty healthy, so my doctors tell me. They, um, they want me to lose weight. That's my only um, complication or complicating factor. Um, this particular cancer is very rare in the United States. 5% of cancers are this rare type in the United States. In other countries, this kind of cancer is 95% of all the bladder cancers. It's primarily caused from schistosomiasis, which is a parasite in the waters of, of uh, mainly, they call it tropical or subtropical climates. I, had, I was tested for that, don't have it. Smokers get it, um, paraplegics get it, people with uh, long-term catheters get it. <clears throat> It's caused from an inflammation, a, a chronic inflammation um, that ends up in the bladder. And uh, still don't know why I got it. Maybe someday they'll find out. I also uh, had thought about the idea that I have, I broke my leg years ago and I have a titanium rod in my leg connecting my knee to my ankle and also in my wrist. I broke my wrist. I'm a dancer and I went flying across the floor, dancing a swing, triple time swing, and have a titanium plate. And um, they're finding that titanium or metal orthopedic implants can corrode and put metal debris in your bloodstream. And I thought that may have happened that ends up um, affecting the bladder. So I had a test done on that. And it turned out negative. Uh, but I am allergic to nickel, which um, I had gum disease from at once. Um, I get, you know, infections in my ears if the my earrings are not stainless steel or silver. Um, so maybe I'll find out, maybe I won't. The treatment regardless is the same. It's this radical surgery coming up a week from Friday. So I promised uh, all the people that left comments on Dr. Campbell's video that I would update you on my progress. And right now, my focus is staying healthy, not getting COVID. I've got had both of my COVID vaccines, the Pfizer, so I'm all set with that. I wear masks, I socially distance. I am not around anybody. I isolate um, other than when I have to go to the doctor or when I spend time with my son, but we socially distance and wear masks even at that. So um, I do have to lose 10 pounds. I've lost about six already, so I'm on my way to that. And I'm gonna switch to uh, another little video that I made um, that I wanted to share with you about the kindness of not only my subscribers um, and the people who left just such kind and caring comments on Dr. Campbell's video, um, but a, a special treat um, that my dear friend who lives down the hall, Susie Q, gave me. And so now I'm going to switch to that other video. So I'll see you in a minute. So anyway, I had a, a, a package on my door the other day with this uh, box inside the the bag and I wanted to show you what it is. It's is so sweet. My friend Susie who lived down uh, uh, well okay first of all this is my hair after I cut it twice and I made a video of my cutting my own hair with the ponytail thing and then my son kind of evened it up for me and it doesn't look too bad and I, I let it grow out a couple of years ago because it was getting so hard to keep it dyed and you know, every three weeks I had to do the roots. So I let it grow out and it turned out to be a kind of a pretty color. So anyway, so this is kind of what my hair looks like um, when I don't wear it up. I usually wear it up because it's 
not so hot on my neck. So this is what it looks like. Well, my friend Susie was thinking of me and bought me a wig, thinking that I might lose my hair during, um, you know, treatment for my cancer. And she gave me this gorgeous wig. And <laughs> I tried it on this morning for the first time. And this is really what motivated me <coughs> to, um, to make this video. So this is, oh, let's see. I think I need to get this out of here. This is the wig that my friend Susie gave to me. Oh, I don't have this on right. Well, anyway, as you can see, golly, is that, I mean, I could hardly tell if this is a wig or if this is, if this is my hair. So if I lose my hair, I'm going to be all set. And I thank you, Susie, for this wonderful, you know, kind and, and caring gift. And, um... I will post another video, um, maybe even from the hospital. I'll be in the hospital uh, five to seven days, um, and I go in on February 19th, so I probably won't make another video until then. And I'm going to take my computer with me, my telephone with me. I'm not going to be stuck in a hospital bed for a week without my social activities which all centers around my YouTube channel and my emails and all of my friends. I love you all and I just thank you for your prayers and your concern and your love. Love you all. Thanks for watching. Be safe, wear your mask, social distance, and ventilate as Dr. Campbell would say.